Right, so we're back in the building with Back Chat London. Hello, so- hello, hello. Everyone's been quiet. Where's the wind? They've even quiet. We're here, we're here, we're here. Early morning. Early Saturday morning. Early. It's a Saturday morning. Usually we're in bed. Do you know what I mean? Saturday morning. I wake up at one o'clock on a Saturday. You deserve it, man. Quiet. Cool. So we're going to talk about the last episode, yeah? Cool. The title was Why the Girls Say They Want a Good Guy But Fall for Bad Guy. Now, before we get into this, yeah? Jesus. Before we get into this, mm-hmm. yeah? That topic went left. It went absolutely left. And then they took another left and then a right. The direction, I felt like we didn't even know what a bad guy was. So, how, what, so you guys are going to have to explain to me. I want a definition of a bad guy because me, I thought I was a bad guy to the episode. Okay, yeah. Why, why are you, you doing I, this? You're trying to ignite a fire. No, like, I'm, why are you doing this? This is this is. Oh. Do, you, do you know the maddest this thing? Is, yeah, I was fully trying to break this thing down, but they I don't. Mean, they don't allow me to just. You know what? Sometimes, yeah, they, they don't this understand. Is the thing, this is the reality of the show. <laughs> like, you know, when that question comes out, like we said before, we don't get it beforehand. Mm-hmm. So everybody gets that perception of what they think in their head and imagine everybody trying to articulate those points at that same time Mm. it's just fire especially when what my definition of a bad boy is different to what you understand so Mm. it's a bit mad but I was going to say that um, well it's something because you said that the the conversation diverted left one thing about us we always divert left Mm. right you know we never ever stay on track we always end up going somewhere else and starting something else so that is normal but you're right it wasn't ever you know defined no one actually gave a full on definition of what a bad guy is but you know that's because all of us have different definitions Mm. so that's why we were trying to everyone like Lucas rightly said everyone's trying to give their own definition of what they think it is but you know we actually never actually you know stand pointed okay this is what a bad guy is so they, you say that everyone's got their own perception. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, course. Just like everything we discuss on Backchat, that's the whole point of the show. You yeah. know, we don't want everyone to be the same because we don't live in a world like that. Everyone is different. Everyone has different ideas, perceptions, definitions for things. And that's okay. As long as we can like respect each other and have conversations about it, I think that's the, the main thing. Okay. Uh, so in, in the episode, there was a particular point yeah, where you started to talk about Telling women to shut up. Um, <laughs> that line's gone everywhere, <laughs> innit? <laughs> I'm even getting DMs no, like, no, Esther, no, shut up, can no. I be your man now? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 literally, like, when I saw that, I was thinking, bro, I said, that's what girls like. No, Do you no, know what? Girls like the shut up thing. No, 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 no. no, no. Don't generalise. Don't generalise. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want no. listen, I, when I said I want him to say shut up, like, there's been a few people on Twitter that I actually have actually gone out and I've saluted them because it's not that I'm saying my man should sit there and tell me to shut up. It's that it's just a certain level of respect that I will have for my man. He doesn't need to be, you know, aggressive or, or, you know, in that, he doesn't need to have that kind of mannerisms, but he's the main, the way he carries himself, He's, he's, he's the way he carries himself alone, it will be a shut up. I will know yeah, to shut so up. I, Do you know what I mean? Can I just, can I uh, carry on with what she's saying as well? Like, because people, went, especially when I say something, yeah, and I feel like because I am this <laughs> in your face, Character. you know, yeah. person, and let's be, let's be 100 here, like, a black guy comes from, for me anyway, a black guy comes from a place where, well, some black guys anyway, like me, come from a place where, you know what, we fight tooth for nail for everything. So when you become the man that you believe you are and you're confident with that, the world sometimes is they're intimidated by that. And sometimes the, I do say some stuff that, you know, there's more meaning to it. We film for we like film for like an hour and a half. You just take Lucas saying, shut up and you should shut up. It's not just that. We're not stupid. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to tell you, yeah, like I'm gonna punch you up. Yeah. And it's not that. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but my definition of a bad boy is like you girls know when you're with the guy. You respect him even if he's punched up other guys or he's been in fights with other guys and carries himself like that and he's a bit of a rude boy. When he says something to you, you don't you won't challenge it because of what you've seen him to be like. It doesn't mean that you're scared of him, but you know that this is how that guy carries himself. Now, the the the, the, the bad boy in that sense, that's good. 
for some people. There's also the bad boy who is a very, very calm guy. And on, on the road with other guys, he's a savage. But with his girl, he's a proper softie. Yeah. That doesn't mean that he's not a bad guy because he's a softie with his woman. So there's very, very many, there's many different di uh, so differentiations to what you call as a, as a bad guy. So you say with the um, way it's been edited, it sometimes it's not always like that. Because from from a perspective like the audience perspective, I saw Lucas standing up like, bro, I told my girl to shut her. <laughs> is he was shut shut it? <laughs> That's the no, case but, over. But this, but it's this, done. but this is the thing though. It's as, as much as it's reality and, and and it's real TV. At the same time. There's so much that has to be crammed in 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. And at the end of the day, the mature minds and the people that are not negative with your thought process, you see that and you'll be like, okay, there is meaning behind yeah. that. It's not just, oh yes, yeah, shut up. If I love someone, if I value you as a woman, mm -hmm. you, I'm not going to just tell you to shut up and it's just that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some, we, people, we argue, people argue. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But sometimes I feel that some women of our generation today are so against this man being a man mm -hmm. that any form of Strength is too much. It's like, right now, you can't do that. You can't be like that. Bro, chill out. It's not every day like the guy, the guy is a bad guy. Sometimes give him his chance, give him his props. Anyone got anything else to say in regards to like looking back at the episode? Do you still agree with everything you say? Like, yeah. right, biscuit? You. Well done, biscuit. <laughs> to be fair, I think the episode went all right. The only thing, <laughs> the only problem was that obviously the definition of the um, bad guy, because I think what it was that. Everyone had the definition in their head, but not everyone expressed the definition of bad guy. So that's where I think it went a bit wayward with it. But what our people need to take in consideration is we film for hours. And like, as Lucas said, it has been crammed down to like, what, 30 minutes. So there's always more to what we're saying that's actually been crammed down and etc. But yeah, man, shout out to the whole Backchat team. I love you lot. And bear in mind as well that people speak from quite a personal place because naturally, that's what you do. You speak from your own experience and you speak from yourself. So I think, like, for example, with Esther, going on what you were saying, Esther was just speaking from a personal place of knowing how she is as a woman. So she knows that she just wants a man that will, you know, speak in a way to remind her, like, listen, this is you. But what I want to say, what works for Esther doesn't necessarily work, work for everyone. Yeah. Esther's speaking for herself. So I think that's, that's the main thing that we need to remember that you know just because that works for her and that's what she likes doesn't mean she's now saying that every other woman, woman should yeah. should have that as well so just Definitely. i think people and, just bear in mind and, that it's personal and also yeah like because of what you just said now mm. i don't think esther is saying oh yeah she wants her yeah, man her to man tell her shut up yeah. again it's part of the whole demeanor the way he carries himself mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying right. in that mold. everyone's 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 got that's why we have different types of men that we go for mm. i'm a very very loud character i'm in your face i am a woman that a man needs to be able to tame me because i can you know go off you know i can go a bit cuckoo sometimes you know what i mean so that's all i'm we saying bring I'm, yeah bring me back and that's just my character that's yeah, that me personally and there's yeah, other characters Esther. there's a lot of other women that might you know that's why there's five different women on the panel because if you different can't relate to me you'll be able to relate to relate to one of the other ladies so just because you don't get me baby you get well don't don't don't, don't hate like do you know what i mean this is just my view and this is what i like yeah, you may yeah, not yeah. like what i like because i've had some people say domestic uh, uh, violence blah nice. blah blah get out of town man what do you mean do i look like i could what do you mean me domestic violence what are you talking about <laughs> no i hear that i hear that because me I saw that when I saw you saying, "No, oh, I like a man to tell me to shut up." All right, babe. I thought to myself, "No, I need to try this." Hey, hey, so, hey. So, now listen, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Like, like, like Lucy just rightly hey. said, it's not for like. I'm not saying I want my man to tell me to shut up, but I'm just saying for me, I'm the type of person. If I'm arguing with you, I can that argument. I can. I always say this to um, women. I say our tongues are like venom. Sometimes when we're in an argument with our partner, we can go, you know, we can cross the line. Mm. Sometimes, and I'm a woman that I do cross the line. I tend to cross the line because I always want to be the last, I want to have the last word. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I'm like that, I need my man to be, if you're a quiet guy, I'm not knocking any quiet you, man. No, do you know what I mean? You're, I'm going to, I'm going to finish you. I'm going to win no, that we'll argument. Finish do you know what I mean? So, so if you're a man that you've got, even your presence, it's not that you need to tell me to shut up, but you look at me and say, Esther, me, I'm circled, bruv. I ain't saying that no more. I've got you. Because it's the way you've even just said Esther. <laughs> the, the name, the name. Even just the way you said Esther and even your your eyes, your body. I'm seconding, I'm alright, cool. I've heard you. Alright, cool. So we're gonna get into another track and then I've got some questions for the from the Snapchat mm. that they wanna ask you guys directly. So get ready for that. That's all I gotta say. Get a drink of water, because it's coming. Alright? <laughs> 